hey everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a while hope you are good today i'm just going to be showing you how you can simply turn an oversized dress into this beautiful plunge neck dress first thing first i'm just gonna detach the sleeve and then the half cut so this half cut here is measuring 14 inch that's just a bit underneath my boss so you can make yours 13 depend how deep you want your plunge to go uh, the front part so I'm just um, on semi not really on semi per se but I'm using my scissors <laughs> to unsim it it's easier so I'm to just unsim it like that so you can use your inseaming paint to do this but I just want the work to be fast so this is it I'm gonna turn in two and then work on each side but I'm gonna work on the front side first this is gonna be at the back now this is going to be at the front so you fold it in two first of all cut the middle of course cut the middle and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button down below before you forget thanks now I'm just going to use a ruler to slant the front part of this top just freestyle it and then cut next i'm going to fold it in like gather the front to be my exact measurement so this is it you just measure your waist that is underneath your boss and then fold it to the exact size so now i'm just going to fold in two of the back parts and then use this front part to cut out the actual size of this dress because this front part that I've worked on is actually my size the round part is a size so that's why I'm using it to cut the back side this way the front and back are of the same size which is what you want to do so now I'm just going to fix in inside out front and back and then attach the shoulders first of all and then underneath where the sleeves is which is the body of those dress and this is how it's gonna be make sure whenever you are making any kind of measurements Put extra one inch as sewing allowance so that you do not sew less than your size so this is it now I'm just going to measure this waist so that you you know the waist I'm working with I'm actually working with 28 inch yep that's what I'm working with now I'm going to minus 14 inch to get the full length of this dress so I'm cutting the down part now but make sure you put your tape at minus 14 inch so that you know the exact measurement so this is it I'm cutting it now so I don't need to seam the down of the dress because it's already seamed top stitch here so next I'm just gonna cut the middle and fold so this is where the button or whatever you're using the zip or if it's um what are they calling it pressing button you're using so before you put it you need to just match this down and next i'm going to also fold in the waist to get to 28 inch because this is like 44 inches so i'm going to gather it till it's the same size with the up so that's this is it. I've actually put it in now. So this is it. 
I made the waist 30 inch because I'm going to be lapping. So now I'm attaching the band. I just cut out the piece of fabric. Use band to separate the down from the top. So this is it. I'm going to attach the band now like this. So it. So this is it after attaching the band. So I'm going to now attach the upper part to the up part of the band. But make sure you fold the down part and the upper part into two so that you get the middle point and then sew from there so that you don't have any kind of excesses. So this is it. Now I'm going to attach a piece of fabric to the sleeve to make it longer to the suit. Yeah, now it's now pronounced that there's a sleeve. Next, I'm going to attach uh, pressing button. The button is just for disguising. <laughs> I don't want to go to the stress of putting in uh, the O for the button, so I just use pressing button, then just attach the button at the front. That's a trick I came up with to just make it look as if it's an actual button down dress and that's why you see press button so this is it it's so easy you just need to like have in mind that you want to do this if not you can easily be discouraged so let me show you the trick of making this front part to slip very well just that it slant and that at the very down like this just start it like this that way even when you bend down nobody's going to see your boobs there's not going to be any kind of boob slip or such things so make sure that you secure underneath with both the safety pin and hook so this is it please like share and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do it now hit the button down below thanks so much for watching to my next post bye